All right, so next, the, the, the next thing that we want to do is to uh, set up a WASP, uh, to, to, to set up uh, EVM chain on top of a WASP chain. Uh, so let's, let's see how to do that. Uh, first of all, you make sure that you have your WASP node up and running. And uh, you can obviously go back and uh, see if, you know, there's an existing chain running on that. We did that last time, so that should already be there. Um, if you wouldn't have, you know, deleted your wasp DB, your uh, earlier chains will still be there. So anytime you would want to, you know, spin your node on and off, um, it make sure that you, you you just have to carry forward the wasp DB, and obviously the JSON file and the config file itself. All right. Um, now, once you have your chain up and running, the next thing that you would want to do is to uh, deposit uh, some iotas uh, to to deposit some iotas to this chain address so it will it will essentially transfer uh, the next two steps will transfer some um, some tokens from uh, your layer one to layer two so the next two steps will do that um, for right now we would want to also um, now deploy the uh, EVM contract as a our EVM chain. To, 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 to do that, uh, make sure you have your uh, WASP chain name correct here and an address that you would need. Um, how to get an address? You can generate a new address or you can, you know, go to your, uh, what the easiest probably way is to just open your MetaMask and uh, just go to any address, just create a new address or something. Uh, you can obviously, you know, create a new account over here and it will create an address. Just copy this and, uh, you know, paste it. Uh, right now, I don't have any any tokens on my... Uh, so this is, this is also pointed to the Rikabyte test network. Um, but if I actually point it to, you know, the local host, uh, this will not actually connect with ours because uh, ours is, is... So this will try to connect, but there's no... Uh, JSON RPC running so this won't really work once we once we run that we'll see how it how it is so in this particular network on this address there's uh, there's no tokens and uh, you know once we do that we'll start uh, seeing uh, tokens on top of it right so once we have uh, you know deployed an, a new a new uh, EVM EVM contract it says that the EVM chain contract is successfully deployed so let's verify you know what what exactly happened here uh, if you go inside now you will start seeing that there's a evm chain smart contract over here um, so our evm chain is now uh, is, is is now live but uh, it's not accessible still by the metamask because we don't have uh, an active json rpc which is running so let's fix that um, we have to just uh, run the json rpc and uh, this after this we will be able to connect from our metamask into this uh, particular network so let's do that and this will start a json rpc if you want to uh, get into the debug mode you, you'll, you'll have to append uh, hyphen d it, uh, to it but for now we just want to uh, test how to connect with uh, metamask to our evm chain to configure that you'll have to add a custom rpc so let's name it something like you know was test and uh, here you will have to specify the entire thing so let's specify our uh, local address that it is currently running on uh, you'll have to add a chain id which is 1074 by default and uh, you can skip this to the option anyway and uh, once we do that we'll see that oh there is a wasp test now added to the, in the net the network that is added all right, so let's uh, go back and once we have you know in inside here we'll see that the same address we have some tokens now that uh, that is available for us to use and uh, with with that now we can do very interesting stuff we can deploy smart contracts uh, using our metamask we can um, use that uh, to transfer funds or something like that but make sure that but be mindful that this is only uh, accessible on this particular chain so uh, this is not still a public network that that you can transfer with. So, th so these are not real funds. These are just the funds that uh, is that exist on this particular network. Uh, you can name it uh, whatever you want. You can name it uh, by your own name. You can name it uh, anything, anything, anything that uh, that that you can relate to. 
but that's all that you need to run an EVM chain on a iota uh, wasp chain thank you